So I started with printing out a picture from Google Images of New York State, which is where I grew up, and then I just put it on the canvas and traced it lightly with a number two pencil. That way the image was on the canvas the easiest way possible. Then I took my Martha Stewart gold leaf pencil or gold leaf paint, which basically smells like liquid spray paint. And I took a fine point paintbrush and I just started to outline New York State. Once New York State was outlined, then I just filled it in with a bigger paintbrush and I just went any direction, didn't really matter, and I just made sure I filled it in well and that way it looked nice. You have to make sure you're shaking gold leaf paint often because it will settle and you wanna make sure it has that metallic sheen to it. I will say you have to be very careful with it because it can splatter like it did on my canvas a little bit and it does not budge once it is in place. Like I said before, it's kind of like a liquid spray paint so it smells really strong it's really kind of difficult to move and it is permanent and it dries quickly though which is a bonus and now the thing is completely done literally the easiest diy thing you've ever done in your life I layered the light pink, dark pink, and white in different kind of combinations. That way it looked more interesting and had more depth and texture. And I would just brush off my brush on a paper towel between the pinks and the whites. And then I let that dry. And then when I came in with the gold leaf, that was after everything was already dry. And that is done. The next canvas I took I, some marble contact paper left over from another DIY project I did and I just cut it out to fit this canvas which is a six by six. And then I peeled it off and stuck it to the canvas here. I will say it was a little hard for it to stay on the backs of it. So next time I would use a hot glue gun rather than the just fold and press method. You will see later that I did use extra of the sticky contact paper to stick it down and then later I even used thumbtacks and again I would just use a hot glue gun because it just is gonna adhere better.
then once that is all done, I found this really cute hedgehog stencil, which I had before from the coasters I made in my room. I just tried to center it best I could, and I used painter's tape to tape it down to the canvas, and then I went through with a sponge and sponge on the gold leaf paint. And again, this does not budge, and you'll see where I got it outside the stencil, so it looks like the hedgehog is eating a piece of grass, and that's the way it's just gonna have to be. <laughs> And then you just peel off all the painter's tape quickly. You want to make sure you do this while the paint is still wet. And then you just leave it how it is. The next one is a pink canvas. I painted a white canvas completely pink. Then I just took the gold leaf paint and I painted XOXO from that image I found online. And just try to make it look as cute as possible. It's a little walky, but whatever. That's the way my life is, so that's the way it's going to be. That first X came out so good though. And then after that, it just kind of went downhill. You have to move really quickly when using that liquid gold paint because it will dry so quickly on you and your brush will get ruined so fast because it is like liquid spray paint. It gets pretty crusty. So after every time I use it, I have to rinse my brush out and clean it vigorously. That is all for my DIYs. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me see if you guys made any cool DIY projects. In total, I did all of these wall hangings in about 45 minutes while watching one single TV show. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!